Hi, this is Matthew with Orange Computer and uh, just coming to you with a solution to rolling back the Lenovo Power Manager driver. Uh, one of the most recent updates uh, caused a problem where it would show an error message at the startup of every time you started Windows. And um, it's pretty annoying, it just like pops up. It doesn't necessarily do any harm, uh, but uh, apparently that version didn't get installed properly all the time. Common error, uh, lots of people are searching for the answer. So I just wanna show you um, another way to roll it back. You could use a Windows Restore Point, um, but if you just specifically want to roll back the driver, there's a way to do that from the device manager. And this only works if you had a previous version of this Lenovo Power Manager driver installed. But let's go to the device manager. I use Windows X, which brings up this menu, and then you see a list of a bunch of options, and then the letter M there brings up device manager. Now you could also just search in the start menu for device manager and then um, select it from the start menu that way too. In device manager, down in system devices, you click to expand that on the little down arrow. And then they're in alphabetical order. You can select Lenovo Power Manager, right click, and then select Properties. In the Driver tab, up here, click on that, and then you have the option here to roll back driver. You'll notice here that the driver version is 10.0.128.0, and this 128 one is the particular driver version that seems to be giving most people this problem and causing this error to show up when you start Windows. So we will roll back to the previous driver. I'm going to click on Roll Back Driver. It's going to show me this uh, screen. Are you sure you would like to do it? And in this case, yes, we do. You can choose one of these options. I'm going to select previous version of the driver, seem more reliable, and then I'm going to click Yes. Then it's going to do a little bit of work, and now you see that this driver version number has changed. Um, to the 127 version, the previous one, and that after restarting uh, should then fix this issue and that error message will no longer uh, show up when you start Windows 10. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.